Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna give me a five for five and we'll get rolling. This is gonna be very, very short. Um, I'm not gonna stay on here very long, but uh, I did want to bring this to you guys real quick. Had a pretty big uh, filament release um, on the sun, obviously. <laughs> um, it did shoot off into space. As you, if you guys read the thumbnail, you're gonna see that. I mean, there's a bunch of plasma. Um, this thing is not going to hit us directly, but it definitely is a very, very big one. Um, you know, the, the, the core of this is really what, where the issue would be if we were to get hit with something like this. It's really, really dense, okay? Upwards of a trillion tons, uh, maybe more, maybe a little bit less, but, um, yeah, very, very dense. So, um, just let me, uh, get in here and just do what I need to do here, and, um, I'll get this to you guys real quick. This is NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. Um, obviously, this is not going to show up here. Okay, the stuff here is typically for two to three days after. Um, we may take a glancing blow from this one, though. But this sunspot was huge. The filament was down, stretching across here. And this thing is big. It was a large one, obviously highly dense. Plus, we've got this coronal hole right in front of us that's going to be sending us uh, solar wind. Um, so we probably are going to have, um, you know, an increase in uh, solar wind anyway. So, with if this thing does give us a glancing blow, that's, you know, is what it is. And it could put us up in a um, more of a uh, geomagnetic storm if that was, you know, actually going to happen. Um, but we also have had small some small flares here, but nothing to really write home about. We did catch a glancing blow from a smaller CME, too. Um, it did increase geomagnetism just a little bit, but not much to even report on. So, you know, I'm not really going to waste much time on that. Um, but if you go up here and you look at their, their uh, forecasting, obviously this is probably going to change a little here about three days out. Um, they'll probably change this tomorrow or sometime tonight. But we'll, we'll have to wait and see, you know. Um, sometimes they leave it, sometimes they don't. But as you can see here, <clears throat> they're still forecasting us 60 to 55% chance for M flares. And that, that's a smaller M flare. Uh, R1, R2 is the small end of an N-flare and the bigger end of an N-flare. And then R3 is the beginning of X-flare. That's about a 10% chance there. So that's what that is. Now, that's their forecasting. This is NOAA. So if we if we pop over here, I'm going to show it to you guys here first because um, this is really, uh, it's rather dramatic, actually. Um, I don't want to blow this out of proportion, but I also don't want to not give it enough attention. You know, if this thing would have hit us directly, we'd be having a different conversation. I do think this would have caused us some issues. Um, am I talking complete grid down stuff? Absolutely not. I don't think so. Um, there's always that possibility, but that's not what this one is, I don't think. Now, for that to have happened in any kind of significant way, the core of this would have to hit us directly. Okay? Um, so don't, there's nothing to fear here, ever. Okay? So I've, I've been getting some questions about that. I don't fear any of this. Right? I prepare, I'm aware, and that's where I leave it. If, if this is scaring me, I'm walking away from it. And I suggest everybody else do the same. If this stuff scares you, don't listen to a word I'm saying. Don't come here until you're ready to look at it again. Okay? Um, there's plenty of other entertainment out there. There's plenty, a lot of other different information you can go look for and look here, there, and everywhere, right? Um, but with that being said, um, yeah. So don't, if this is going to scare you, please don't watch. Go watch something different for a few until you get your head right. You know what I mean? But I, I can see how this could be, you know, scary to look at if you've never seen this stuff before, right? So I'm going I'm to push play on this. I'm going to let this run. And I, actually, I'm going to be gone for like 10 seconds here. So I'm going to play this, let you guys watch this. So I'm going to be silent for about 10 seconds here. i got to take care of my dog for one second. Sorry. Goofy. Get your bed. Come on. Get your bed and I'll give you a treat. Come on. Good girl. All right. Yeah. Had to get her some treats to keep her occupied for a minute. Sorry about that, guys. So as you guys can see down here is where this eruption is. Look at that thing. That is a big one. 
Yeah, I got a. We just got one at Christmas time from my daughter. It's a, it's a, a Jane Russell or a Janet Russell, a Jack Russell Terrier. Okay. <laughs> I know that everybody freaks out when people use the wrong terminology there, uh, but that's okay. I get it. But watch this filament, right? Man, there go there. So, okay. So I'm going to bring my cursor down here. It's this one. Now, this is that gigantic sunspot. That was actually visible with the naked eye. If you got a sun filter, you could see that with your naked eye um, from, the, from the earth, is what I'm saying. So as I move forward here, watch this big, long filament release. Okay. Maybe it already did. Yeah, it did. I went too far there. So I'm going to back it up here and... Um, Guys, I just kind of threw this together because this just happened a few hours ago. But here, here's the filament itself. And watch it. It'll even react with that thing. Interact with that thing. Hey, Puka, come here. Back in your bed. Here. Puka. There you go. In your bed. Yeah, she's a pup, guys. She's not even... She's right at three months old. So, yeah, obviously it's like having a baby. If anybody doesn't know that. But watch that filament right there. Look at that thing. And it's been slowly erupting for over a day, right around a day, maybe a little over. Um, you can kind of see it start lifting off yesterday. But uh, yeah, look at that. And see what, watch what happens when this thing lifts off. Watch this sunspot react. And then wham, right there. So it actually lifted off. Looks like it caused a little bit of a flare. Um, not a, I don't think that's a huge one. You can see it flaring right there. That's x-ray. So just so you know. Um, but yeah. So let's, uh, let's take a look at that in a different angstrom because I want to show it to you guys. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Let's, uh, take you to the 211. And I'm probably going to have to redo that too because it's crazy how they got this thing set up. If you, if you were looking at different angstroms here, of uh, light. And you looked at it like six days ago, it reverts back to that. And it sure did. Look at that. <laughs> so if I just hit refresh, it'll bring me up current, but that's going to take a second. So how that while that's loading, I'll show you guys the CME tracker. And um, so there you go with the CME tracker. This is Earth. Okay, top down view on the left. You can see it's a glancing blow, guys. It's not nothing directly. Now, if it was direct hit again. We would be having a different conversation here because it's a very, it looks to be very dense is the issue. Okay. So as you can see, it does that. It's kind of going to the south of Earth here a little bit. Um, and, and I'll show you, you'll be able to see that more so on another one I'm getting ready to show you here in a minute on the coronagraph. But you can see where it hits us just glancing though. Okay. Now, now with, uh, here you go, Puka. Puka, here. Sorry, guys. Got real life. You know, that's my life, guys. I don't, yeah, this is real life. <laughs> anyway, so it is, it does look like it's going to give us a glancing blow. Um, now let me uh, go here. Now, this is this one again. Now, this is the 211. Okay, it's just another angstrom of light. And I've shown you guys these captures multiple times here on this channel. Um, but there's that coronal hole. And, you know, that may come into play, like I said. That could come into play because it could be giving us solar wind when this CME gives us a glancing blow. If that is the case, it may give us a higher geomagnetic storm. But again, even with that, I don't think it would be causing us any grid issues at all. Um, but, you know. And I know that's what everybody gets concerned with, right? And rightfully so on the bigger ones. But... uh Watch this. I mean, it, this really does show this one rather well on the 211. We don't typically get this kind of a good view on this angstrom of light when we're talking about filament releases. Um, but you see how it reacted after it lifted off? See, so watch this lift off, snap out into space, and then watch this area here. See that? It's all connected. It even interacted with this one up here a little bit. So, 
that's a it's a big one guys um i and i do think that at some level we probably dodged something here a little bit um we would be having issues from this if this hit us head on now again i don't think it's complete grid down stuff so i don't think this is nowhere near strong enough for that unless it was you know double tap hits and all those things that we talk about here but this is i do think that we did dodge a little bit of some issues here um and uh so let's look at it on the chronograph. This is Lasco C2 from our perspective. It's on the Soho Observatory. So it's about a million miles closer to the sun than what we are. So, but it's from our view. So let me just, uh, I'm just going to walk it through like that. Now you can see how dense this is. Straight off the get. Okay. I mean, that's a dense one. And even if you look at it in the, on the red imaging, when it shows up like that on the red, um, yeah, it's dense. It doesn't look to be all that wide, right? Which means it's more compact, which means it's more dense. Doesn't always mean more dense or more compact when it's smaller like that. But in, in eruptions like this, it, it, it definitely is a uh, an issue. So, um, so there's that one. So let me go ahead and just start that and let you guys see it. Run it through there a couple times. Um, and again, guys, it's not going to... This is not grid down yet <laughs> or anything like that. Um, so don't think that. I'm not trying to put that out there like that. I, but this is significant. If this one was coming at us, we'd be having a different conversation. Right? Um, so let me uh, take you back. Let's go here. I'm going to take you to Stereo A, which is our partial side view now. It's not really all that, you know, side anymore. Used to be out there close to 90 degrees. Now it's pretty close to... Uh, um pretty close to the earth actually it's not uh, it's probably about 10 degrees if you're thinking in degrees 10 degrees to our uh it would be when you're looking at the sun things are kind of backwards so it would be to the east in our orbit right um but as you can see there guys uh yeah now you can definitely see how it's got a southerly direction here right even though it still is kind of missing us off to the right a little bit also. So, and that would be west if you want to use those kinds of directions. But um, that's what's happening there. Um, and again, guys, there's going to be a whole lot of reporting on this. I promise you. It just is not going to make it past any news or anything. It's going to be in the news here. At least space weather news. Here's that sunspot. It's just spaceweather.com. Please go check them out, guys. They do a great job over here, I think. Um, and And... You know, I like to give credit here where credit's due, and these guys deserve it. Um, they do. No no doubt. Um, Puka, come here. Back in your bed. Here. Puka. There you go. Um, but, yeah. So, you can see this from your backyard with your naked eye if you had the right sun filter. Okay? Um, easily seen with the telescope with the sun filter. Now, they're talking about this is a different... Um, event that happened on the sun yesterday i believe on the 19th um this is like a it's basically like a bolt of lightning and you know go over here and read this but this actually spanned from the southern hemisphere to the north and it kind of connected two separate sunspots okay um but yeah so here you go quick here's another one back in your bed babe all right I'm sorry I'm having to deal with my dog, guys. It's something I have to do tonight. So um, I usually wouldn't even come on here and do this right now. But it is what it is. But go check this out. This is very interesting. And we did have a larger earthquake here in Argentina. It was a 6-8. Um, you know, I was talking to some people in the background here. And I, Leah, pointed out it was pretty deep. I think it was like 107,000 kilometers deep. Not 107,000. Um, <laughs> seven kilometers deep. Um, but we also had one here, right? That was a six, two. So there was some significant earthquakes going on and that, that is, you know, it's, it's, it's influenced highly by solar weather. I think, um, it definitely does come into play here. One more puka here in your bed. Puka. Puka. Treat. It's in your bed. Come get your treat, puka. All right. So anyway, um, and again, guys, there's not. I know I kind of rushed through this, but you guys understand why here. <laughs> but we'll watch this. Uh, let's uh, 
So watch this again right here. One more time. It's starting to lift off right there. You can kind of see it. Watch what happens. See how long it took to lift off, but when it does, it does it pretty violently. So, but yeah, guys, so that would be my report for tonight, guys. Um, I may come back on tomorrow at some point and give you guys another update on this, but check it out. Um, go check out the lifeboat, guys. I don't have time to pull everything up right now. Um, well, go check out the lifeboat. Did a really good stream tonight over there. I'm talking about laughter is the best medicine, especially in recovery. It's key, you know. I'm doing a lot of good things over there, guys. If you guys are having any kind of addiction issues or you know anybody that is, please come over and check us out. We don't judge. Come on over and uh, we'll check it out. And, and, you know, we'll be there for you. So, um, and I'll obviously go check out Marf. <laughs> um, I... I was waiting on them to go live, and I'm not sure. I haven't got a notification yet. They might be now. Nope, not yet. Um, I'm not sure if they're, you know, it's going to be a late show tonight. So um, go check them out over on Marfugal. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and check out Rip, Ilea, everybody else, Trinity, anybody else that's got channels, guys. Go give them some love and check them out. Back at you, Miss V. Back at you. <laughs> Well, oh, welcome back, Christine. Um, guys, go give Christine some love. I think she's getting back on the horse here. She's been out of the loop here for a minute. Um, she's had some issues and stuff. So go go show her channel some love and, um, you know, support her too. So, um, yeah. So that would be my report, guys. God bless. Yahusha saves. And, uh, yeah. You can drink this Kool.